everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is what's in my hospital bag, what I have packed to take with me to the hospital when I give birth to my baby. Um, I packed this, I'm currently 38 weeks plus five and I packed this probably about a week to 10 days ago but it's still not fully packed like there's still a few things that needs to go in it but I've just been like dipping in and out of it packing a few things repacking it and all those kind of things um but I found these videos really really useful to see what I need to take especially being a first time mum I don't want to like overdo it but at the same time I don't want to miss any of the essentials so if I have missed anything please leave it in the comment below for me so that I can make sure I am fully organized when pushing the baby out if you're interested in this video then just keep on watching so oh my god this is what i'm taking as my hospital bag so i'm taking a separate bag for the baby and this is my bag and then dan is also taking a little bag for himself which will contain all the snacks um a couple of the baby things and just a change of clothes for himself as well but this is all for moi. I find that actually we need more than what the baby needs so let's get cracking. So I'm just gonna pick up anything that's right on top of the bag and show you. So the first thing I've got is just this clear um, little travel bag that actually came with my baby's changing bag and in here I just thought at least Dan can see everything so whatever I need he can literally grab or I can grab so I will open it up and show you what is inside. We have a hairbrush with about three um, hairbands on, just to, it's a, just a little mini hairbrush to take and hairbands because I mean, I don't know what my hair is gonna be like, but I know that I will want it out the way and that is for sure. I've also packed a couple of um, big chunky grips as well, just because if my hair is sort of up, but like the fringe is falling down, then these are just good to keep it out of the way. And also after I've had baby, if I just want to get my hair out of the way, these are always really handy. And then also hair wise, I've got a little travel um, container of hair grips, again, for the same reason. And then lastly, I also have some dry shampoo, just a small little travel size one. Um, I'm not taking shampoo and conditioner just because I actually only wash my hair like twice a week anyway. So I don't really see the point in taking shampoo and conditioner. Um, I would just wash my hair when I get home if it gets too gross. Or I'll just ask someone to bring some up for me if needs be. So I just thought I can freshen it up with this. I also have packed... A shower gel this is just a Nivea indulgement indulgent moisture cashmere scent here I did go for a full size one just because I don't know how much of it I'm gonna need or how long I'm gonna be in there so I want to make sure that I've got enough to keep my whole body nice and clean so I went for a full size one of that But I have also packed a little tiny Dove Nourishing body wash. Again, just a travel size one. This is just a non-scent one just because I don't want the baby to be around too many scents. So I will decide nearer the time if I want to take the little one or the big one. Along with that, I've also packed a little mini Dove deodorant. Again, just the original scent. I don't want the baby to be around any harsh smells. So just that one to freshen up a little bit, which will be lovely. I've also taken a little mini travel size, uh, simple hydrating light moisturizer, just because my skin gets quite dry and I just think that it's nice to feel a little bit fresh after. Um, I'm not actually thinking of taking any makeup and if I do, it'll probably just be mascara, maybe eyebrow product and a little bit of bronzer just to look fresh. But to be honest, I'm not gonna be worried about what my face is looking like when I've just pushed a baby out or the next day for that matter. So just a nice bit of moisturizer I think is key. And these travel sizes are brilliant. You just pick them up in boots. They are amazing. To go along with those, I've also just got a pack of simple face wipes for the same reason, freshening up my face and just making myself feel nice and clean and refreshed. But also you can do a little wipe around anywhere as well. And with it being the simple, I know it's kind of skin. So I've just got one pack of those. 
Next up, teeth, I've got a little tiny travel max white um, toothpaste here. This is just a Colgate one, again, travel size. I also have a little mini Listerine mouthwash and two toothbrushes, which are brand new, one for Dan and one for I, um, just so that we're both sorted and can feel fresh with clean teeth and everything else. I also packed a little razor. I don't know why um, a few people have said about taking one just in case you want to tidy yourself up. Um, but I just thought it would come in handy if I need it. Um, I've also got a sensitive anti-back hand gel. Alcohol free, no fragrance, kills 99.9% .9 of, uh, of bacteria. I just think I can use this, Dan can use this. I know the hospitals have them, but it's nice to have your own on hand. And also for any visitors that come into the hospital to see us and the baby, they can pop some of this on. So I think that's always handy. I also have the Nivea lip balm here. Um, this is just the original one, brand new. A lot of people say that gas and air can make your lips really dry. So I have packed a little Nivea um, lip off just to keep that going and a lot of people said the stick form ones are better than Vaseline because it's easy just to pop it on rather than having to dip your finger in a pot and put it on or someone else do that for you talking of dryness um, I've also packed some straws um, just so if I want to drink plenty of water or anything like that um, I can just use a straw out of a cup if I don't have a bottle but I am also taking a bottle just in case then I just have this little sample pack of um, Lanolin um, nipple cream. A lot of people recommend this brand and this was just a little uh, sample that was given in one of my, the Emma Diaries pack, packs. Um, so yeah, I've got those because I am going to try and breastfeed so I just picked up one of those. Um, I also have a little mini pseudocreme. I don't think the baby would need anything like this on it straight away but I've got it just in case anyone needs it or even if I want to use a little bit it's just one of those little pocket sized ones which is adorable I then also have a pack of paracetamol here um, just so when I'm a little bit sore and in pain I can either start off on paracetamol and also I can take it afterwards as well and then lastly I've got a big old pile of nipple pads uh, of breast pads basically so these are just for leaking and I've got about six there um, I don't know how long I'm going to be in hospital for but these are just the Sainsbury's ones and I thought I'd just grab a handful and pop them in the little bag to go really but yeah like I said if I do take any makeup I'll probably take just a minimal amount and I'll either pop it in there or put it in a separate bag um, but I think that is just all I need for my self care in that respect. Moving on, I've got two packs of maternity pads because they are an absolute essential. Um, I've got these ones from Boots, which is just 10 pads, um, which everyone highly recommends. So I picked up a pack of those, really reasonable in price. And I also just got an extra pack. There's 12 in here. Um, you can use these with disposable briefs as well and these ones are just from Asda, just the original. I thought I'd just take two packs just in case. I might leave one in the car and if I need them then Dan can run out and grab them but if not we've got them anyway. And then we also have some disposable briefs as well which are beautiful. Um, again it's just nice to have things that you can literally put on let them do what they've got to do and then you can just throw them away and never to be seen again but again these are just the boots maternity range ones talking of briefs i have picked up this pack of um four knickers which come up quite high so they're just super comfortable um really nice to just put on after you've given birth obviously you're still gonna have a bit of a bump so you want things that are going to be comfy and of course we i got black because all the leakages and blood and nasties you don't want to be seen so I just picked them up in a slightly bigger size than what I usually am and I think these ones are from Matalan but you can get them from anywhere I think they were like a fiver yet yeah, they are they're from Matalan and they're a fiver but there's a pack of five in there and I thought I'd just take the whole pack because you don't know how many you're going to get through or how long you're going to be in there for I've also packed two maternity bras. These are literally my favorite bras ever. I've got a pink one and a black one I might even wear one in there yet, yeah, I'm not too sure, but they're just like a sports bra, 
um, do up at the back and you just unpop the sides so this can come down for easy feeding and these ones are just from New Look they were in the sale on ASOS so yeah I just got those two to take I don't want any wires I literally just want to be comfortable so I've got a black one and a pink one I think that should be enough I also have a pair of slippers, which I just picked up in Primark, just some slide on ones, just to walk around in if I need to do any walking, just to be super comfortable. Just nice little grey. I think it's nice to have some newer things and then I can just chuck them out afterwards. I also have a pair of flip flops, which are also from Primark, which a lot of people have recommended to wear flip flops in the showers, just to keep your feet nice and clean and to walk around in again. And these were like Primark 90p ones. So again, I can just literally throw them straight back out. And then I've just got three pairs of socks. I've got two fluffy socks to keep my feet warm. Um, a lot of people recommend take fluffy socks. So I thought I'd just pack those two. And I also just have a pair of white trainer socks to go home in if I'm just going to slip on a pair of shoes to go home in. So got those in there ready to go. Next up, I have packed this um, black bikini top. It's just a big oversized bikini which just ties around at the back I haven't bothered with straps or anything I'm hoping to have a water berth um hence the bikini top but I just wanted something that I could easily put on and off and if I want it on then I got it if I don't then I can just take it off um but also it's not too much material in regards of when I want skin on skin with baby it's very easy just to take off and get that latch going and that breastfeeding or that skin on skin time so I just got this one from ASOS it's new but if it gets ruined, it was in the cell, so I don't really mind. I also have a new towel, which I've put in. I just picked this one up from Amazon. It's a nice black, big towel. I got quite a big size one because obviously you want all your <laughs> dignity that you've already lost by giving birth to be hidden in the shower. But I got a dark colour just for the same reasons with all the aftermath of birth. You don't want anything to be light and also I can just throw this one straight out after but it's just nice to have a few home comforts to take with you and I just thought a nice new towel which I will wash and have our home scent on it um, would be perfect. Now talking clothes I picked up this very lightweight if I can find it very lightweight khaki green um, just dressing gown from Primark. Um, I just wanted a lightweight one but also a darker colour but I couldn't find a black one so I thought green would be fine but hospitals are very warm but you also like to be covered up a little bit so I thought that would just be ideal to wrap around myself. I've also got this black big oversized shirt night dress um, which I can also give birth in or wear afterwards if I'm not allowed in the pool then I can have this one it's just again from Primark really reasonable but it's buttoned here so again for skin on skin and breastfeeding it's really easy access and it's a dark colour and it's nice and long so it can cover me up but I've also picked up this black night dress that if I stay in there I've got something a bit cosier to wear um this is just one from pretty little thing it's just like an oversized t-shirt nighty and i just thought again it's dark colored and it's comfy so easy enough and then i also just have these lovely soft pajama bottoms which i can either wear under the night dresses or i'm gonna pack a couple of t-shirts as well these are just from sainsbury's they were in the 25 percent off i think i got them for like four pound i just sized up but they're just super soft super comfy with a really nice waistband um for any discomfort down there i can make sure i'm still super comfortable so that's sort of birth outfits slash just after birth and then for going home, I've just got two pairs of maternity leggings. I've got this grey pair here and my black pair, um, depending on how long we have to stay in hospital. I just wanted to be comfy and for something to go over the bump and no rubbing. I've also picked up a black oversized t-shirt just to go with that. I also have two black vest tops as well just to wear. I have a big um, check. Yeah, I just picked up this big oversized shirt. All of this is from Primark, apart from the grey leggings and my maternity leggings were from Love Leggings. But again, it's just easy to whack on, covers you up, but also you can have it open if you are breastfeeding. And then I've just got this grey snake print top as well, which is maternity from Boohoo. 
Um, so it goes with the grey leggings, but as you can see, it's got this wrap kind of detailing at the front, so it's easy access for the boobs. And then just a few extras. I've got this big sort of bag here, uh, which I thought I would just take in just to put any dirty clothes and that in, um, so it's not touching any clean stuff. I've also packed my Instamax camera and a packet of film ready to take some pictures of the baby and Dan and I um, I've also um, and so to capture those lovely first moments I've also got my tripod which I'll be taking to take some pictures with my phone or get someone record if I can and a pair of earphones I'll also be packing chargers and I've also packed our iPad with Netflix on it because again you don't know how long you're going to be in there. So having a little bit of entertainment never goes amiss. Um, but that is everything in my hospital bag. Obviously, before we go, I'll be packing my notes, which contain all my medical information and also my birth plan. I'm also going to be, um, I also have a birth in sort of playlist on my Spotify, which I can listen to during labour. And like I said, Dan's taking his own private bag, which will have his clothes in, snacks in, and some extra bits for the baby. And we'll be picking up chargers and also a little bag of change for vending machines and um, car parks, basically. But yeah, I think I've pretty much covered everything if there's anything you think i've forgotten then please let me know down below. hi guys i just wanted to jump in and say that i forgot to mention a couple of things i'm also taking some essential oils with me because they are quite big on aromatherapy now and i've been using it a lot throughout pregnancy so i'll be taking lavender um clary sage and jasmine i believe um, and I am also taking a little TENS machine as well. I'm hoping to be able to use that as a pain relief to start with, but I mean, if your girl needs more, then your girl needs more. But yeah, I thought I'd just mention those as well. I think if there's anything extra, then I can just either ask someone to bring it up or we can pack a spare bag and leave it in the car just in case. But yeah, if you like this video, guys, then smash that thumbs up for me and don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. I will leave a list of everything that I am taking in the description box below. So if you want to check it out, then go ahead. Um, but yeah, exciting times. Scary, but super exciting. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye.